Welcome back to Trends and Friends, everyone. It is Motivational Monday with Dr. Binks over at Texas Tech Weight Management Clinic. We're talking all things love. Valentine's Day is almost here. I know love is kind of a tricky thing, whether it's friends, family, relationships. What's kind of a way to stay connected, staying loved one, especially during the pandemic? I know it's been very hard doing this. Yeah, so I think one of the things that's important to realize is that even though situations change, love sort of, to sound a little corny, transcends all of that, right? So somebody, you may have gotten very accustomed to being in close contact with, you know, family and so forth. And so I, I do think redefining for yourself what it means to be connected is, is very important. I, I struggle with that myself. And I think that you know, understanding that it's uh, the words you say, the, the the little things that you do might help you to feel connected to somebody during COVID. Yes, I definitely make sure to try and reach out to my parents, just a text or a phone call every once in a while. Technology has definitely helped with that. Trust might be kind of changed too because you're not seeing them all the time or maybe you're seeing them a lot of the time. So they might be getting on your nerve if you're not leaving the house. How do we kind of balance that, being able to give each other space or being able to trust each other? Yeah, well, I, I think let's let's go straight for the uh, romantic partnerships, whatever <laughs> it is, marriage or girlfriends and so forth and cohabitating folks. And, you know, I, I think it's been an interesting time because when we're all out busy and working and, and and i know that people are out doing their life but there are a lot of things that are making us spend more time around the people we love and one of the things that if you're a couple that happens to think that all the time together that you're together you have to be engaged because you only got a few hours a week like that and now you got how many hours are there in a week it's a uh, you know just understanding to to look at life a lot differently now Right? It's like you could be in the same house and ignore each other. It doesn't mean you don't care. Yeah, I love that so much. I know maybe too, if you're together more, maybe people are fighting more. How do you kind of go around talking to each other on an easier way, kind of coming up like, hey, I know we're used to kind of spending time together. This is what we need to kind of work on. Maybe just if they're having that kind of fighting issue, how do they kind of go about fixing that? I think the core here is... is one of my favorite observations of couples that I've worked with is to say at the point that they trust me enough, it's not a competition. And, and I think there's something in, in the nature of relationships where we forget that we're maybe competing out in the world in various venues, but you know, you're, you don't have to win with your, your, the person you love. They just have to ask themselves when they were about to start fighting or they started to get into it. It's like, am I going to divorce you for this or am I going to dump you for this? And if not, you could probably fast forward through all the drama and just get to the point of acceptance and forgiving because none of us are perfect. Now, there are times that somebody does something horrible. I'm not talking about those, but 90% yeah. of what couples do that end up in fights is just about territory and competition or not being heard. And I think disengaging and then maybe if it's an ongoing thing, setting up a time to just talk it through when neither one of you is upset. But for a lot of the day-to-day -day stuff, it's all if we if we were sitting on our little perch watching, we'd be laughing at ourselves. Right? So. Yeah, no, I definitely feel that for sure. But thank you so much for being here. I hope this helps some people for Valentine's Day. I liked it, so thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 